filed just hours ago says West Palm Beach knew about significant safety issues before a worker drowned at the sewer treatment plant. News Channel 5's Brian Itt has been going over the lawsuit and he joins us with more. Brian? Michael, according to this lawsuit, just two months before Arminio Padilla died, a city investigation determined that the corroded grates needed immediate attention. And another employee wrote to the city that they would only make the changes when they, quote, pull a rotting corpse out. We are getting our first look at the great attorneys say Erminio Padilla fell through in January before drowning at the West Palm Beach sewer treatment plant. Mr. Padilla again fell onto a pool of everything that you can imagine that gets flushed down the sewage system. Padilla's attorney Lance Ivey says it was a slow painful death. A death he says could have been easily prevented. Really uh, mind-boggling that there was an 18 million dollar um, operational and maintenance budget and they couldn't take the opportunity to spend 20 to 30 dollars at Home Depot to attach the great system that caused Mr. Padilla to fall. Ivy says the lawsuit is challenging because of workman's comp law, because Padilla's sons are in the military, not in college, and because Padilla wasn't married when he died, they are technically only entitled to $7,500. I don't find it's fair. I mean, I think it's very barbaric. Why would someone in the military serving their country between the age of 18 and 22 not be entitled to pain and suffering damages for the loss of a parent? The attorneys do plan to sue to try and get around that workman's comp law. They are also suing Riviera Beach, Palm Beach, and Lake Worth because they partly control the plant. Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.